He's travelled all the way from County Clare. He's travelled around the country. And let him introduce himself. He has got a singing gear on tonight. <laughs> but I let him say so. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Is this better? Is it louder? Is it more clear? No, the microphone. Give us a song. Give us a song. Give us a song. Oh, give us a song. <laughs> well, I, I might give you a song in the pub later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you need an old tux to do that. Right? <laughs> so my name is Michael Leahy. I'm from County Clare. I have never been in politics before, but I have been witnessing what has been going on in our country now for four years. And uh, some years ago, I became a founder member of the Irish Freedom Party. And I'm now running for the European Parliament elections. Um, we all, I was up in Trotter some six, seven weeks ago, and I spoke to the people there. I simply couldn't believe the idea that anybody would propose what was proposed in Trotter. It simply makes no sense. It is wrong. It is a dreadful imposition on a small community. And you should be so proud of yourselves for standing the way you did and trying to stop it. The government can't continue not to listen to its people for long more. This is happening in every town and village throughout the country. I have been traveling around this vast constituency of Ireland South for the past six months, since last October. I've been to places like Killarney, Ross Cray, uh, Mayfield in Cork, uh, Dundrum in Tipperary, Clonmel, so many places. My own little village of Corrofin got there just outside that. The same thing is happening everywhere. You go to small towns, they are clearly being planted. The government does wish to plant this country with a huge number of people who may be hostile to this country. It makes absolutely no sense at any level unless you wish to destabilize this society, to destabilize its culture and to destroy it. We cannot let that happen and we will not let that happen. The, the things that we witnessed here in Newtown North Kennedy have brought shame to this country. They have been broadcast throughout the world. It is so sad when I see a small demonstration here in Newtown North Kennedy being shadowed by helicopters, uh, mounted police, I think I saw earlier on, yeah. mass police presence, which is not necessary. Yeah. You're peaceful people yeah. and you should be listened to. And they have no intention of listening to you. They seem to be capable of throwing vast amounts of money at the program to replant this country with hostile foreigners. But when money is required for schools or for hospitals or for community building, it's never available. Why is that happening? I, I, think, I, I think I see, one thing I want to say, I do see a certain amount of anger among people here, which is absolutely justified from the way you've been treated and the terrible, terrible scenes we saw from a few weeks back. But I would appeal to people not to give in to the temptation of falling into violence. No. Because when that happens, it spins out of control and some very simple people can take control of it. You have an opportunity, seven days tomorrow, to come out and give a message to this government yeah. that you will not be put upon. The one thing they will listen to is the loss of their positions and the loss of their seats. That's why I'm asking for your number one vote next Friday week for, for Michael Lee on behalf of the Irish Freedom Party. We have another excellent candidate here as well, Una, a, a friend of mine of many years. I've known her family in Bad James Love County Cabin from where my wife comes, so I've known her for a long time. And she's a wonderful, wonderful lady. I look forward to her speech. The immigration policy in this country is now a complete and total fiasco. It is recognized as such throughout the world. We have more people born outside this country, and listen to this, more people born outside this country than any other state in the European Union or anywhere else. We have 22% in this country now born outside of Ireland. In the United States, at the peak of its immigration, that figure was 16%, and we always look at the United States as a major immigrant country. They have completely lost control, and it's going to get worse and worse unless we stop them. And we have that opportunity now starting on the on next Friday week and another opportunity coming very shortly thereafter in the general election. And let this election be the beginning of our fight back to the ballot box. And we have that opportunity. Why do we have that opportunity? Because I can tell you, we have legislation in the pipeline to ban free speech. If you ban free speech, you cannot have free and fair elections. That's what they want. 
let's send them their message. We will not allow that to happen. So that's really uh, all I want to say. I think you're, as a people, you're to be congratulated. One of the reasons we have these horror shows going on in towns and villages and in our cities is that the government in 2016 drove a coach and forth to the planning acts whereby any person could provide a, a migrant facility, a migrant centre, without the need to apply for planning permission. If you build an, an extension to your back kitchen, and I'm involved in planning for a long, long time, and I'm involved in architecture for a long, long time. If you build a, a, a back kitchen extension, you'll be put through the ringer by the planning authority. It'll cost you a lot of money. You'll have to do studies. You'll have to prove that it can be done properly. These guys can come in. They can import hundreds of people into a town without any assessment of transport, of sewers, of education, of medical facilities. This is an absolute outrage. And that injustice is what's leading to this anger that I see here today. I believe, and maybe you know my comments on this later as a barrister, I believe that should be challenged at a constitutional level. The government introduced that as an emergency measure in 2016. It is still on the statute books eight years later. I believe it is manifestly unjust and we should challenge it and we should challenge it through the courts. And I'd be happy to facilitate in any way I can as a planning expert in that matter. That's just a parting shot. Maybe we could do that. That would be something that could unite people to lodge a serious challenge against the way they can do this without the need for planning permission. Because I can guarantee you, the great majority of these facilities would be overturned at the planning stage because they're not suitable. They're not suitable for you. Sorry. Yeah, this is how to the system, how to stop the building, and they're going to help us. It is outrageous. It's, it's outrageous, the and I believe, I believe it could be challenged through the court. Look, I'm asking for your number one vote. There are some great nationalist candidates. We have one of them here today with us. Make sure, make sure you come out and vote. That's the only thing they listen to. And I can see that angle here today. You've got to funnel that into the ballot box. I'm asking for your number one vote next Friday, uh, Friday week. Michael Lee here of the Irish Freedom Party. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, Michael. That was fantastic. Good reminder about what you've achieved in them 11 weeks. People travelling from all over the country.